Hello, guys. Welcome back to Mezone African Motives, uh, still on engineering science N1. Uh, in this platform, we shall be focusing on section A of uh, the question paper, which was written in uh, July 2022. Uh, so we are not going to waste much time. We shall quickly rush through the questions so that we can see how we're supposed to answer these uh, typical questions. All right, so on question one, we are given various options are given as possible answers uh, to the following questions. Choose the answer and write only the letter A to D next to the question number uh, 1.1 up to 1.5 uh, in the answer book. Okay, 1.1, a nut is loosened more easily with A, okay, is produced with A then is produced, okay. So here we are supposed to complete this statement that we are given there. All right, so how are we going to complete this statement? So this is going to be uh, the nut, a nut is loosened more easily with a long spanner because a large turning effect is produced. So the answer there is a D. All right, on 1.2, kinetic energy is, all right, so given stored energy, energy of motion, energy of friction, energy stored in the chemical bonds. So which one is it? We know that kinetic energy there is what? There is movement. So this is energy of motion, okay? Uh, on 1.3, we are given if the push, uh, if you push a cut uh, in this case, in this case with a force of 60 Newton for two meters, how much work have you done? All right, so we are given the force and the distance, and we know that work is equivalent to force times distance. And we are given uh, the force is 60, the distance is two. So if you multiply, that is 120 joules, okay? And our answer is A. All right, 1.4, what is the value of force F if it has to balance the beam, okay? So in this case, for us to balance the beam uh, here, we can work with moments uh, referred to this pivot where we are given this point, okay? So we know that if we are to work with the moments, uh, the sum of the clockwise moments is equal to the sum of the anti-clockwise moments, all right? So from this pivot here, which moments are we, which moments are in the clockwise, which ones are in the anti-clockwise, okay? If we are to check 15, we can see that 15 is moving in this direction, which is anti-clockwise. Take note, a clock moves this way. So this is clockwise, okay? Then anti-clockwise, this direction, okay? So in this case, this part here is moving this way, which is the anti-clockwise, okay? Uh, if we are to check, F here is moving this direction, that is a clockwise, all right? and 10 Newton, also this direction, which is a clockwise. All right, so this is anti-clockwise, this is clockwise, this is clockwise, okay? So on the clockwise moments, we are going to take our forces as, remember, moment is force times distance. So the F, okay, let me try to increase, all right? So here, F back to this point, there is a distance of one meter, remember, it's force, times distance. So it's going to be force times one meter. Plus, we still have the clockwise 10, but 10 back to this point, that is 10 times one meter plus one meter for two meters. So that's 10 times two. All right, so we move on to the anti-clockwise moments and we found that we only have one in the anti-clockwise, which is the 15 Newton. So 15 Newton back to this point, that's 15 times two, we've got two meters. Remember force times distance. So that's 15 times two. So we can calculate the value of F, F times one, that is F plus 10 times two, which is 20. Uh, that is equivalent to 15 times two, which is 30, okay? So to find F, we can transpose uh, 20 to the right hand side, so it can be a negative. Remember, it was a positive, so it will be negative. So 30 minus 20, that is a 10. So we are going to have our F here as 10 Newton, and the answer for 10 Newton is on B. All right, 
So that was person 1.4. Uh, all right, let's check also the other part of the person, uh, which is on 1.5. 1.5, we are given that a velocity, uh, sorry, velocity is a vector measurement because it is both magnitude and, all right, so any vector quantity, remember, it must have the magnitude and also it must have the direction, all right? So the answer that we need here is direction and direction is C, okay? So that is what we are given in this case. On question two, we are now given indicate whether the following statements are true or false by writing only true or false, okay? So we are given the first part, assuming no air friction an object is in free fall would have constant acceleration, all right? If there is no air friction, is it going to have constant acceleration? That is a true. So if there is a, any friction, then we are going to be having a resistance. So that is going to change the acceleration, okay? So this is actually true, all right? Uh, the quantity 20 meters per second not is a speed and as such is a scalar quantity. Okay, guys, remember, a scalar quantity has got magnitude only. There is magnitude only. There is no direction. But here we are given 20 meters per second north, which is the direction. So this is false, okay? This is a vector quantity, all right? So this is a vector quantity, just like what we indicated here, that a vector uh, quantity must suppose have magnitude and direction. So that's a vector quantity, all right? 2.3. Uh, direct current in a, in a circuit travels from a negative to positive electrode from a negative to, that is wrong, okay? So this is supposed to be positive to negative. So this is false, all right? So 2.3, that is actually a direct current in a circuit travels from the negative to the positive, all right? The current is going to flow in the positive, okay? From the positive to the negative like that. This is the flow of what? The flow of current. If you are dealing with a DC circuit, all right? If you, whenever you are dealing with a DC circuit, all right? Uh, sorry, I want this part here where we can have, uh, maybe you've got a resistor like this one, all right? So that was a false there, 2.3. Transfer of chemical energy in mechanical energy takes place when petrol in, is put in a car, okay? Transfer of chemical to mechanical, okay? So this is chemical to mechanical, takes place when petrol is put in a car, okay? This is true, all right? So this is actually true. That is uh, chemical to mechanical, okay? Dealing with petrol in a car. 2.3, specific heat capacity is the amount of thermal energy required to increase the temperature of one kg of a material by one degree Celsius. This is actually true. That is what we can give as a definition for the specific heat capacity. All right, so there are swift marks on question number two. Uh, as we can see, everything was uh, clear. We just have to revise guys as much questions as we can. On question number three, we are now given, choose an item from column B that matches the description in column A, write only the letter A to K. So take note, we are given only to write the letter there. All right. So this is our column A that we are given. So on the first part, we are given 3.1, a device for measuring temperature. Which device? Okay, so you can see that we've got a thermometer there on E, uh, which is actually true. So that's an E there, okay? Uh, the the current in a circuit is directly proportional to the voltage and inversely proportional to the resistance. Okay, let's take the, uh, the formula and see what we have in this case. So they are saying, what is this? Okay, so current being proportional to the voltage and inversely proportional to the resistance. So this is our Ohm's law in this case, okay? So here we are referring to the Ohm's law. Remember, current is equal to voltage over resistance. So that's uh, Ohm's law, which is G. The smallest part of a compound, take note, we are referring 
to a compound. What is the smallest part of a compound? So that's a molecule, all right, which is F, okay? The atom, that is the smallest part of an element, okay? Uh, the increase in length per unit material length degrees Celsius, okay? What is this increase in length? So this is like we put length, which is measured in meters per degree Celsius. What is measured in, in, in this increase in length? So that is the coefficient of linear expansion, which is A. So the answer, the best answer was A in this case. When a force moves through a distance, we know that force times a distance gives us the work done. So this is actually work done, okay? So work done, that's a C. So the answer here is a C, all right? So that's how you answer these questions, guys. Section A is supposed to totalize everything there, all right? Uh, on question four, we are now given choose an option from the following to complete the sentence below by writing only uh, the answer next to the question, okay? So we are given these answers. So we are supposed to fill in like energy cannot be, okay, or destroyed. So you know that energy cannot be created or destroyed. So we have created, yes, we have got created here. So the answer was supposed to be created. All right, uh, then resistivity is the ability of a specific material to dash, dash, dash current flow. So when we are talking about resist, we are talking about resisting the flow of current. So it is the specific material to resist, all right? That is the answer that you can put here to resist, okay? Uh, when a system of forces X on a point and stays in rest, the forces are in, all right, so you know that the forces must be in equilibrium, okay? So the answer here is supposed to be equilibrium, all right? Uh, that's equilibrium here. On 4.4, uh, dash dash is the gravitational force acting on a body. What is the gravitational force, guys, acting? We know that is the weight. So this one is the weight. Okay, do we have weight here? All right, all right, all right. Yes, we've got weight there, all right. 4.5, a dash or a dash is a material that does not allow current to flow. So that's an insulator. If current flows, it's a conductor. So here, do we have an insulator? Yes, we've got an insulator. So the answer there is an insulator. All right, so the an insulator does not allow current to flow. All right. So that was section A, guys. As we can see, it's uh, actually direct. Uh, like I always say, for you to attempt to question A and uh, score everything in section A, you must revise all the topics in your syllabus. Uh, make sure you know your theory, the, the, the basic calculations, know them. It's going to, to help you a lot. Okay, that's what we had, guys, for Men's on African Motives on Engineering Science N1. Till we meet again.